All right, hi everybody, Mr. Pash here, and this is gonna be a tutorial on how to um, visualize an animal into its basic forms and maybe volumetric shapes. And um, I'll give you guys a, hopefully a simplified version of how to visualize this and or some steps to start sketching it out. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with this bird. And uh, what I'm looking at here is what we want to do is, I guess, look at the outlines pretty well here. And we got this pear shape going on. Um, definitely its beak. We probably could imagine that pretty well as a cone or triangular prism, even though it's really small. Um, we could even do the bird wings here, which in reality are fairly flat, um, but we can almost imagine it at as this cone or bigger triangular prism here maybe and even the tail um kind of imagining it you know almost like a tube of paint you know you know how it kind of tube of paint kind of gets flatter as it goes recedes back into the distance so let's see what we got going on here okay now the easiest way to do this too is just kind of separate the forms not do it in it in its entirety so we got a round head so maybe you're just imagining the head as a sphere, okay? And I wanna look for the center point of the head. He's kind of facing this way. So there's a center point facing to the right and it's a little bit in the middle. So let's kind of do it at the center line, okay? So we wanna do these cross contour lines, give it some depth, not just flat shapes. That That's what we talk about when we're creating volume or form and a little bit skinnier. Let's add those lighter lines receding into the distance. Give it some more depth here. Okay. Those lines are in the back and we'll darken those up. Okay. There's the head. Okay. I almost imagine the head too as a flat sphere. So I'm, I'm almost imagining the head kind of doing this thing. Maybe a little bit flatter. Right. It's like almost like a helmet head. <laughs> All right, so it's kind of doing this and maybe I'm imagining it kind of going back. Now I connect here and uh, if this was flat, like half circle, I'm doing more flatter con cross contour lines here. Okay, maybe it's doing something like that instead. You know, see how it's kind of pointing this way? Maybe it's doing that, okay? Um, the beak, you could do the beak separate. It's a little bit smaller. You could draw it a little bit bigger than it is, just kind of for the form here. Okay, it's got a flatter beak. Let me zoom in there. All right. And if I wanted to give this some depth, I'm gonna draw those lighter lines in the background. Probably imagining it like this, okay? Because there's the other side of this beak gives it some depth there okay I can also dissect maybe the wing let's dissect the wings even though in reality they're flat I'll look at the outline first I'm pointing this direction looking for the center line it's right up there towards the top so maybe we'll put our center line right there okay and that's out in view so we can darken that up Probably curves down this way. Okay, and then our cross contour lines somewhere in the center. Keep that same curve. Slight curve here, not super round. And kind of curves around the back here. And then we'll do something right in the middle. So cross contour lines, try to do um, something vertical and uh, horizontal in the center. Like, let's imagine this. The bird's kind of facing this direction, this angle. Let's imagine this doing doing something like that. Probably has a flat line in the center going that way. Okay, and if these lines get really confusing, darken up the really solid lines that should pop out. Look at that. I'm gonna darken these up like that. Okay. Look at that. See that? Okay. Um, and then um, even the the bird body, let's say we don't even do the 
the feathers. We can imagine, um, let's pretend we're not seeing this. We've got this barrel of a body for the bird. And it's kind of pointing, you know, kind of back up and to the right. And this guy's a little bird butt popping out here. Okay. Well, kind of flat, roundish. So I'm gonna do it, kind of ran out of space here, but pointing this direction. And let's see, again, the center line's right up here. So let's draw the center line there. And it's really flat, I would imagine here, like we would probably barely see his bottom. So pretty flat. And it looks like a center line is probably right about here. So this would go flat back in the space this way. And then we'll do another one here right in the center. And probably needed to go more curved than that. Probably didn't do it that good of justice there, but it'll work. Kind of gives it that barrel chested body all separated and let's see and then even his tail you guys only need to do three really um but here's his tail i can't see here but i see this kind of popping out here from this guy and i'm kind of imagining it like this it looks like his tail pops out from there curves this way and gives it some depth here. This is where I see the tube of toothpaste. Try to connect these center lines if you can. Probably pretty difficult for a lot of you. We'll even give the tail some depth even though it's flat like this really flat rectangular prism here. And that would work. Look at that. Look at the bird. All dissected. Okay. So you can think about it doing that way um, in separate parts and you only need to do about three, kind of the major forms there, whatever stands out to you. And you can even draw in some extra lines here for the feet or whatever. Or let's imagine it this way. We kind of have this pear shape for the bird that even sticks out almost kind of like a lemon wood a little bit. So let's do that. Let's try to ignore where those wings are at, okay? And this is why I'm doing this too, because I want, I want you guys to use some X-ray vision here. And a lot of the times when you guys are watching very professional artists um, maybe draw, what you're not seeing them do is this, but in their minds. <laughs> I know it's kind of weird, but these, this is what they imagine, okay? So it's kind of like this going on. It really helps them kind of apply where the shading is going to be when they start shading. All right, so center line still the same right up here. And his head's turned, so it kind of gets probably lost right about here. Okay. Let's have this continue down. And this is also a good approach to see if you guys can imagine that. And then side of his body right here, so this top side. And then notice how, in this example, it bends in. Okay, so we're gonna bend in. And then kind of where his neck is, we're gonna bend in there. And then we'll go around. We don't really see that. Center line. Let's show how round this is. Now he's facing again, top right. So I'm gonna darken this right hand line instead of the left. So it looks he's, like he's going back in the space there. I'll even plot where his eyes at. And let's attach, even attach the beak this time. And the little bird legs are here. Kind of went a little bit longer on this back part right here. 
where the legs should be and even let's draw that tube of toothpaste type thing again really flat even though it's in reality it doesn't have a lot of depth here and let's see give it some thickness connects right about there and then you can even draw on top of this like where the wings are just kind of give an idea maybe where that's at but that's another way you guys can do it too it's kind of like bigger basic forms here okay all right let's try one more see if you guys get it um i got lots of different ones here should we do a goldfish okay um also i think i put in the the description that i try to find animals with three quarters views rather than flat so it just really helps you with depth but let's start off with a better process here this forms really a simple fish but the form is really unique it kind of bubbles out where the belly is and then it starts getting flatter let's see if we can pick that up okay so let's outline it first those longer strokes here now his mouth is flat kind of does this okay and then his belly rounds out right here and flattens out so let's follow the center line from his mouth around his belly. And then right here, it flattens out and starts going this way. Okay, that's our outside center line and we can darken that up. Really, don't worry about if these look like animals too much. Really try to focus on more of the volume than the animal. Okay, so we went from this corner. Let's go from this corner, right? On the back side, it rounds out too, right? So we're gonna do a nice light line there and it probably converges right about there. It's gonna be hard for a lot of you guys to imagine this, but again, this is practice. We're just gonna try. And then um, another center line here. And we can even do the eyeball right it kind of eyeball pops out kind of does this thing almost looks like a tylenol pill or something i don't know look at that right little flat cylinder you can even do the eyeball give him a little highlight okay he's looking at us this is weird <laughs> just kidding and then even some like watch we'll add some details in here let's do some gesture drawing from last week really quick And give it some movement. We don't have to do this. I'm just kind of showing you guys a combination of two techniques here. Right. Ooh, especially with these wispy uh, fins here. Look at that. Cool. All right, so we only got about two forms out of that, really. Um, unless you wanted to do the fins. You can think about, like, maybe even this fin. Is like a very flat curves. Uh, what would we call that? <laughs> Triangular prism. Ooh, really flat. Ooh, very hard to draw those contour lines there. But you could even do that <clears throat> in the way it bends. Dude, should we do one more? Are you guys ready? Let's do one more. I already said one more, but let's try this. Buffalo. Oh, this guy. Okay. Again, three quarters view. Really weird kind of body shape. Kind of looks like a big seed. Okay, let's see what this looks like here. Again, we're going to break it down. Don't worry about the head. Okay. I'm just looking at the body forms here. Okay. Center line right about here. Let's draw that center line. Okay, nice and light at first. And then let's see, center line, horizontal, right about here. Give it a little bit of curve because the belly's out. Not everything's gonna be curved. Some stuff's gonna be pretty flat, but okay, let's work on that center line and this curves around this way. All right, now let's give it some depth. Probably don't see where the top and bottom of this go, but we'll see where the center line goes. Let's give it some depth on the outside. Remember on that other side of them, which we don't see, we gotta use our x-ray vision. Let's see if we can do that. 
It looks pretty good. Okay, so we're not worrying about his leg and the hump of the leg there. Um, the bottom part of the leg. We can even add that. Look at this little maybe cylinder. Like this. Maybe it uh, does kind of have a hump there. Like maybe more of a... Let's see. What would that be? A rectangular prism, maybe. Kind of pops out this way. Comes down. All right. And then um, let's do his head. Head outline first. Another like seed shape. Look at that. This buffalo is kind of weird. This is what. This is why artists do this. You know, they really kind of really get the pure form. His head shape's almost the same as his body shape. Isn't that kind of weird? Okay, so as an artist, you're like, if you're a pro bison buffalo drawer, those are the things that really help you. You're like, I know how to draw a buffalo. Two seed shapes first. Okay, I'll stop. All right, center line for the head. I was kind of imagine his head's pretty flat. It's almost like a strawberry or something and that'd be good let's do his nose boxy nose and we can imagine this as a rounded rectangular prism kind of beefs out that way look at that kind of where his nose is at Eyes would go right here. Eyes kind of bubble out. Dude, how cool. Oh, the horns, right? Curved. Curved cones. Just for fun. Okay. Some gesture lines, if you guys wanted. Mm -hmm. For some added detail. All right, and that'd be it. One, two, three. Kind of the two basic forms there. Hopefully that made sense for you guys. I know this one's going to be a little bit more difficult, but again, we're going to try it. Um, if it's really, you know, kind of outside of your wheelhouse on this one, really try to concentrate on maybe the more basic volumes that we did in week two for one point perspective and see how those can apply to some of these animal forms. But really, I want to see if you guys can stretch that and mutate those basic forms into maybe uh, more unique ones here for these animals. Okay, so do your best. Excited to see how you guys do.